Hey guys, this video is on dental and telecemia. So as you know, every person with teeth, including telecemia patient, need to undergo some sort of dental visit and treatment uh, sometime in their life. So uh, telecemia condition should not affect your regular uh, dental treatment like cleaning or uh, polishing of teeth or filling of teeth. Uh, cleaning of teeth might be a bit, uh, maybe bleeding after, because it's cleaning your gums and get rid of the dirt. So that might be a little bleeding uh, after cl the cleaning, but that's uh, basically not too much of blood. Should still okay for telecemia major patient. It sh uh, should should be fine after that. So uh, the more more concern is what uh, maybe you need a, a wisdom teeth extraction might be. Uh, losing more blood so uh, you might need to talk and concern with the doctor both your telecemia doctor or, and also the dental uh, doctor the best that uh, tell them your condition and is it wise uh, and will, will, will that affect uh, your uh, blood loss and your condition so uh, I think most likely should be fine after you get over it uh, need, just need to come for blood transfusion uh, maybe earlier to get a, a loss of blood due to the wisdom teeth extraction. So the main concern is that uh, for some telecemia patient or if you are not telecemia, it might also concern you if you have heart disease or problem that uh, when you come for you come for cleaning. Uh, it might be a risk for some uh, if you yeah, come for cleaning and you have heart disease and you never tell the dentist about it. What is going on is uh, when they are doing the cleaning, the germs and, uh, might infect the cleaning, uh, the thing might uh, affect your heart, which can be a severe infection to your heart, might cause severe infection to your heart and might even cause death. So it's, it's a big issue. So to play safe, please, uh, if you are seeing your heart doctor, get a reference doctor if you are seeing the dentist. T tell the uh, heart doctor that you are seeing a dentist for basic cleaning or whatever procedure you are going through. That it might concern uh, some uh, severe uh, look into it before having the procedure done. You might have a letter, a reference doctor, a letter saying uh, you are safe to go for your cleaning or things like that. Or if uh, the doctor say you might need to take antibiotics one hour before the cleaning procedure. So uh, to play safe, uh, you just have to take a, a tablet of the, uh, the antibiotics uh, one, hour, one hour before your dental treatment, like your cleaning or any tooth extraction to play safe and it will save a lot of uh, trouble and also save the chance of getting infection or even death. So to play safe, uh, it's a wise to clarify I think first before your dental procedure with your heart doctor or your telecemia doctor. Especially if you have a heart condition or disease, you are putting your heart at risk if you never do that. And that might something you may regret if you are not doing it because death can be involved in this kind of uh, infection to the heart. So uh, that's something to take note. Uh, if you are seeing the doctor, dentist for cleaning uh, a half year to a year time, or you might go recent, uh, soon recently or so. So even if you don't go all this, uh, you, you just get to go dentist, I uh, can understand because might cause a bit of pain for attraction. Make sure to take care of all your teeth, uh, brush morning and night, use the right toothbrush and uh, proper toothpaste. Uh, make sure you use the toothpaste. The yeah, toothpaste, uh, I'll show you if I can do this this time. Yeah. Yeah, the toothpaste, uh, make sure you use it every day. Yeah, or even better, use the lestrin, the the liquid to rise your mouth. Yeah, try to do it uh, twice a day to prevent uh, your tooth from being declared or uh, getting bad. So uh, prevention is better than cure. Make sure uh, it's always wise to go for your dental uh, cleaning and basic 
check up uh, every six months if you are busy and don't wish to go so often at least go once a year would be advice so that's basically it on dental and thalassemia and it even concerns some uh, uh, without thalassemia but uh, with some heart conditions and my constant guy so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time peace out